kindly subscribe to this channel. Farm it now. Have you ever imagined growing a garden? Without soil? No mud, no messy pots, no backyard needed. Just clean, green plants thriving in nothing but water and nutrients. Sounds like science fiction, right? Well, it's real. It's called hydroponic farming, and it's changing how people grow food around the world, even in small apartments and city balconies. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly how to start your own simple hydroponic garden at home, step by step, even if you've never grown a single plant before. So, grab your cup of tea and let's dive in. Now here's where most people get gardening wrong. They believe they need a huge backyard, bags of soil, and perfect weather to grow anything. But what if I told you, plants don't actually need soil? What they really need are nutrients, and soil is just one way of delivering them. Hydroponics skips the middleman. It gives plants exactly what they need, water, nutrients, oxygen, in the perfect balance. And the results? Faster growth, cleaner harvests, and up to three times more yield than traditional gardening. Imagine growing lettuce, herbs, and even strawberries right inside your kitchen, using 90% less water and zero pesticides. That's why hydroponics isn't just cool, it's the future of sustainable home gardening. At its core, hydroponic farming is a simple concept. Instead of soil, plants grow in water enriched with nutrients. Their roots dangle freely in the nutrient solution, absorbing everything directly. Picture it like this, you're hand-feeding your plants a balanced diet, every single day, without them ever having to dig through soil to find it. There are different hydroponic systems, like the deep water culture, nutrient film technique, or wick system. But for home gardeners, we'll keep it easy and start with a simple bucket or plastic container system. Think of it as gardening's version of minimalism, small setup, huge results. Step 1. Choose your container. You can use anything from a 5-gallon bucket to a plastic storage box. The key is that it holds water and can support your plants. Cut small holes on the lid for plant cups or net pots. These will hold your seedlings. If you want to go low budget, you can even repurpose yogurt cups or old plastic bottles. Just make sure the roots can reach the water. Step 2. Mix your nutrient solution. Here's the magic. Hydroponics relies on liquid nutrients. You can buy pre-made hydroponic nutrient mixes online. Follow the label instructions carefully and mix it with clean water, preferably filtered or rainwater. The goal is to maintain a balanced pH between 5.5 and 6.5. Pro tip, a cheap digital pH meter will save you a ton of headaches. Plants are picky eaters. They love consistency. Step 3. Add oxygen. Plants need oxygen in their root zone to grow fast and stay healthy. That's where an aquarium air pump comes in handy. Drop the air stone into your container, turn on the pump, and watch the bubbles rise. That's oxygen getting delivered straight to your plant roots, just like aeration in a fish tank. Without it, your plants might suffocate. With it, they'll thrive. Step 4. Choose the right plants. Start with easy crops that grow fast, like lettuce, basil, mint, spinach, or strawberries. Avoid heavy feeders like corn or potatoes in the beginning. They require more complex systems. Did you know? Hydroponic lettuce can go from seed to harvest in just four weeks. That's half the time of traditional gardening. Step 5. Light and temperature. If you're growing indoors, your plants still need sunlight or artificial light that mimics it. LED grow lights are perfect for this. Place them about 6 to 12 inches above your plants and keep them on for 12 to 14 hours daily. Keep your setup in a room between 20 to 26 degrees Celsius, 68 to 78 degrees Fahrenheit. Too cold or too hot, and the plants slow down. A consistent, cozy environment is key. Think of it like creating the perfect spa for your plants, warm, bright, and relaxing. Once your plants are thriving, here's how to take things to the next level. First, clean your system every two weeks. Empty the tank, rinse everything, and refill with fresh nutrient solution. This prevents algae and salt buildup. 
Second, rotate your plants. Once a crop is harvested, replace it quickly with new seedlings. That keeps your system productive year-round. And third, don't be afraid to experiment. Some gardeners use coconut coir or perlite as support media inside their cups. Others connect small containers into a mini hydroponic farm wall that grows vertically to save space. Hydroponics is all about learning by doing. Every adjustment teaches you something new. And there you have it, your complete guide to hydroponic farming at home. Whether you live in a city apartment or have a big backyard, this method lets you grow fresh, chemical-free food right where you are. No soil, no mess, just pure growth and satisfaction. So why not give it a try? Start small. Maybe just one lettuce or basil plant. Watch it grow. Feel the pride of harvesting something you nurtured from water and light. If this inspired you, hit that like button, subscribe for more simple home gardening tips, and tell us in the comments, what's the first plant you'll grow hydroponically? Because remember, when you grow your own food, you grow your independence too.